Hello, beloved church family. Praise God. Saturday night worship service. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Look at my new favorite shirt. Praise God. Hallelujah. Listen, don't get crunchy. Amen. I'm blessed with beloved family, beloved church family that, that, that just blessed me. Praise God. And I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm just so grateful. I'm just so grateful. So get used to it. I'm going to be wearing this shirt out. And um, hallelujah. I'm just so thankful. Amen. Say it with me. Hallelujah. God is good all the time. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. I am just so, as you, as you know, I'm just over, overflowing with joy. Hallelujah. Why? Because Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Jesus Christ is Lord. He's seated at the throne. Amen. And hallelujah. Holy Spirit on the inside of us as his beloved church. Praise God. As his body. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're covered by his blood. Say it with me. We are justified. Hallelujah. Say it with me. We are justified. Yes. Lift up your hand like that. Lift up both hands. Hallelujah. Say it with me. I am justified in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise God. Did y'all see the back of this? Praise God. Hallelujah. I am just so thankful. Thank you once again. Thank you once again. Praise God. I'm, I, I, we are just so blessed with just a, a generous, loving church, and we're just so thankful for y'all. Praise God. We pray for y'all every day. Hallelujah. We're in this new season. Praise God. The old is dead and gone. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Woo. Amen. And praise God. We get to just reflect, right? We get to reflect back and glorify God in how he protected us through all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. And glory to God. He's in our tomorrow. He's in our next week. Praise God. I pray we don't make it out of here. Next half an hour, we're out. Hallelujah. It's coming soon. Amen. Coming soon. So this message tonight, hallelujah, titled Justified, is exactly that. However, I encourage you to listen all the way through. Because there is a twist, amen, and whoo, Holy Spirit really got me reeling on this one. And praise God, all the glory is for our Lord Jesus Christ. We want none of it, amen, hallelujah. I'm not the teacher, Holy Spirit is a teacher. So let's pray, amen. Father, I plead your blood, Lord Jesus Christ, and I thank you, Father, for a joy unspeakable that only comes through you, Lord Jesus Christ. We know your name, your name is Holy Spirit. And Holy Spirit, thank you. That your fruits are overflowing within your beloved church, within every soul, Father God, that has heard your word through our voice, Father. That has, that, that has just witnessed your presence, Holy Spirit. We believe and declare in Jesus Christ's mighty name, Father God, that in this new season, you're bringing in worshipers. That worship you, Father, in the truth and the only truth that Jesus Christ is Lord and in the spirit, your only spirit, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we bless you. We welcome you. We know that you, you're in us for all of eternity. And we ask you, Holy Spirit, to teach us. You are our only teacher, Holy Spirit. So, Holy Spirit, as we plead your blood, Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you that you speak your word through Joey. I thank you, Father God, that you rebuke me. You rebuke my pride. I say nothing that you don't want me to say, Father. And, Father God, this, this applies to both Pastor John and I, Father. We are one in you, Lord Jesus Christ. And Father God, we only say what you want us to say. It's not about us. It never will be. It's all about you, Lord Jesus Christ. And we thank you, Father, for it. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. All God's beloved said, hallelujah, amen. Glory to God. Woo! Almost passed out during that prayer. Praise God. Just keeps getting gooder and gooder. Amen. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to be blessed today. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Saturday night, so much fun. Amen. Praise God. I can't wait. Praise God. We're getting, you know, we're getting all this put together and, you know, praise God. Pray for our elders. Amen. Oh, my goodness. Please pray for them. Hallelujah. You want to talk about continuously going to the throne of God, listening to what Holy Spirit says, right? And using God's wisdom and how to apply it. And hallelujah. God's already done did it. Amen. Agape needs. He done did it. So praise God, we just give him all the glory. Amen. We don't touch it. We don't touch. We don't want none of the glory. It's all for our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Say it with me, justified. Amen. Are you ready to start? Say amen. Hallelujah. Therefore, since we have been justified, therefore, it's therefore reason. Hallelujah. Therefore, since we have been justified. Amen. This word justified is powerful, so Holy Spirit asked me to put this up 
Because God will plant seeds in us and show us a fresh, life-changing revelation. Amen? See, only Holy Spirit can give us as children of God through Christ. Amen? It's the only way now. Amen? Holy Spirit will give us life-changing revelation. Which means that when Holy Spirit reveals it through agape, hallelujah, His light, His anointing will overflow. And in that overflow of His presence, He'll change our very being. Our thoughts, the way we speak, the way we act, right? God will change us, amen? Why? Because it's His glory that changes us, amen? His, it's His view and opinion. Hallelujah. If there's any question, you look at Lord Jesus, amen? Can I ask you, is Jesus Christ perfect? Hallelujah. My Lord Jesus Christ is perfect, amen? My Lord Jesus Christ. Is your Lord Jesus Christ perfect? Hallelujah. I know who I'm talking to. And we're one body in the perfect one, amen? And his anointing, say with me, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit will teach us, praise God. So having said that, we're going to go through the adjective of justify, amen? Having done for or marked by a good or legitimate reason. Don't you, woo, glory to God, isn't that powerful? Amen? Marked by a good or legitimate reason. Let me ask you something. Are you marked? Huh? I'm marked by the blood of Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm marked. So for this reason, for this reason, because of my Lord Jesus Christ, He justified me. Amen? He justified me through what He did that now I am a beloved child of God. Amen? Woo! Hallelujah! Give God praise. Amen? Woo! Hallelujah! There's another one. There's another one. Number two, in theology, declared or made righteous in the sight of God. Amen? How can, you be, how can you become righteous in the sight of God? Believe it or not, amen, there's a lot of people who are deceived thinking that they can do things to earn righteousness. Nope. Uh -uh. Nope. Lord Jesus Christ is the only righteous one. Amen. He is the faith. Hallelujah. So when your focus, when your worship is on the righteous one, His holiness, His spirit in you and in me, Hallelujah. You, you nailed it. Anointing will change us. Amen. Glory to God. Say it with me. Justified. Amen. Powerful word. Justified. So the question that I get a lot, and praise God we're going to get into this, and hallelujah, and do whatever Holy Spirit has us to do. Amen. How am I justified? Amen. How am I justified? So I love bringing in everyday activities into the living word of God. Hallelujah. If you're new with us, hallelujah, we like to say here at Open Arms Community Church, on the count of three, church, one, two, three, welcome home, amen. If you're new joining us, welcome home, hallelujah. Thank God for this new season that we're in. Can't wait to meet you face to face when you come to Open Arms Community Church here in Lebanon, Kentucky. Praise God. I like to ask God to show us ways for the gospel to not only manifest and overflow within, amen, hallelujah, within. Don't you want to be shining agape, amen? Don't we all just want to be, right, God's presence, amen? I know many of us talk about it in fellowship, in worship service, out in the community. Could you imagine, could you imagine, right, being a disciple of Lord Jesus and watching him even just the way he walked? Whoo! Glory to God. Glory to God. Do you think Lord Jesus walked around like this? Huh? No. Amen? Do you think Lord Jesus Christ walked around like this? Amen? Why? Because the anointing of God. He knows his identity. He knows the Father. Amen? He's the only perfect one to know the Father like he done did. Amen? And glory to God, we have this opportunity every moment, every day, to walk with Lord Jesus through Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And Holy Spirit is the one that continues to just encourage us. The Word of God says he's our advocate, our comforter, right? When we do things that hurt him, he's the one that says, you don't have to do that. When we say we're confused, Holy Spirit says, I'll give you the answer. Are you listening? There is no confusion. Amen? 
And he'll, he'll rebuke the voice of the enemy if you allow him. Will you allow him? How do I allow him, Pastor Joey? How do I allow God to silence the enemy? Worship. Well, explain worship, Pastor Joey. You keep saying that. What do you mean? Thank God for Lord Jesus Christ. Well, you keep saying thank God for Lord Jesus Christ. What are you talking about? Thank God that I'm not going to hell. Hallelujah. Thank God that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Thank God that no matter how this world acts, whatever takes place, that I am covered by his blood, all because Jesus Christ is my Lord and my Savior. Hallelujah. Amen. And it's in those moments. So listen, you can choose to be crunchy all you want. And like I say time and time and time again, it's easy. It's easy. It's easy to just be part of the confusion. To be part of the grumblers and complainers. To be part of the religious holier than thou that want to just talk about everybody. Or just oozing crunchiness. It's easy to be that way. It's hard to choose to just say, you know what, no matter what, I'm going to thank you, Father. Hallelujah. No matter how I feel, no matter what kind of pain I got, I'm going to give you all the glory, Father. I thank you that I'm not going to stay this way. Woo, hallelujah. Do you receive that in Jesus' name? Amen. Pray with me, Father God. I receive a fresh anointing that only comes through Christ my Lord. Holy Spirit, have your way. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Let's get started. Praise God. How am I justified? So I love saying this example. I haven't used it in a while. The Holy Spirit said he wants it up there, so that's what we're going to do. Praise God. Go to, go to Walmart and just fill up your cart with all the things that you want to buy. Amen. Oh, man, that would be awesome if somebody told me that. Go ahead, Brother Joey. Get whatever you like in Walmart, and I'll be up here, right? So how am I justified? Well, you put all your stuff in the cart, and now it's time to check out. Amen. And now it's time to check out. Hallelujah. And glory to God if you pay for all your items, they give you what they call a receipt. Amen. And even when you leave, right, even when you leave, they check that receipt. If they don't do you like that, they do me like that. <laughs> Random check. <laughs> but they check your receipt to make sure everything is paid in full. Say that with me, paid in full hallelujah and glory to god holy spirit said that for tomorrow sunday morning worship service that's going to be a part a big part it's going to be a big part of a worship service hallelujah glory to god and so this receipt checks out amen but let me ask you something what if you don't have a receipt you got all your stuff in the cart right and you go on out well like i said we covered this before what takes place that's right. Right? God will introduce you to our brother Sarge, one of the deacons here, leadership. Right? Unfortunately, it's not going to be in the church capacity. It's going to be in the law enforcement capacity because it's not paid in full. Right? Thief. Right? You see, what justified all that was paid in full. Can I get an amen? Hallelujah. Give God praise. Amen. Paid in full. Amen. Therefore, say with me, it's therefore a reason. Whenever the Bible says therefore, God is asking us to take time to bless Holy Spirit. Break away from the written word. Get into worship. I thank you, Holy Spirit, that your word says therefore. I thank you, Holy Spirit, that it started off right here. It says, don't you know? Well, Father God, right now, I just, Holy Spirit, I give you all the praise and, and worship. And Father, I just ask you right now, in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ, teach me. Amen? Teach me, O Lord. Hallelujah. Say that with me. Teach me, O Lord. Therefore, it's therefore reason, since we have been justified, oh, hallelujah, and I love this part, through faith. Amen? Justified through faith. And hallelujah, you see God Almighty, right? It's above our baptistry, one of our favorite pictures, one of our many favorite pictures, Hallelujah. All of the pictures of Lord Jesus Christ are favorite pictures. Amen. Why? Because Holy Spirit's blessed on the inside. Hallelujah. The comforter, the advocate, loves to see it. Amen. Because he is agape. Amen. So you see this, that 
Here's Lord Jesus Christ. He was justified right there. Glory to God. Not only was he baptized, but he was baptized in Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Spirit, Father God spoke. Holy Spirit came. Amen. And boom. Hallelujah. Let there be light. Amen. Let there be light. Hallelujah. And say it with me. I am justified. Hallelujah. How is you justified? His name is Lord Jesus Christ. He's my Lord and my Savior. I am justified. Amen. Glory to God. So we're going to move that over there. Praise God. And we're going to continue on. Therefore, we know it's there for a reason. We have been justified through faith. We have, say this with me, peace with God. Hallelujah. Peace with God. We know that this peace with God is the resurrection power of Holy Spirit. Amen. It's agape. Hallelujah. Manifested to the fullest in you and in me. Just overflowing constantly. Praise God. And this is the peace with God. This is what I love about how the word confirms the word. And how Holy Spirit teaches us. And what he likes to show us. Hallelujah. In screen, on the screen. You know with graphics and pictures and whatever else. Amen. Is that you see that we are justified through faith. Who is the faith? His name is Lord Jesus Christ, right? And we have the peace with God. I don't want to jump ahead, but we're going to finish off this scripture. Through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Through our Lord Jesus Christ. You already know what's going to happen. Amen? He is the one who justified us so that we will never be separated from Father God. It's his perfect work. It's his salvation. It's his name. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. And it's because of his holiness, his righteousness, his power, his authority. He gives us this ability through the anointing of Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. To cut off every demon's head in Jesus' name. To rebuke the devil. Hallelujah. To be a devil stomping ninja. Amen. A ninja. Hallelujah. That's greater than a ninja. A ninja. Hallelujah. That in the name of Lord Jesus Christ and only through that name you have God's sword. The sword comes from the word and it is the spirit. Holy Spirit in you and in me. Hallelujah. Glory. Give God praise. Amen. <laughs> Thank you Jesus. It's only through our Lord Jesus Christ. So when we put this all together, justified through faith. My faith is Lord Jesus Christ. So I'm justified through my Lord Jesus Christ. And now I have peace. Say his name, Holy Spirit. Now I have Holy Spirit for all of eternity in every breath in me. Hallelujah. Say it with me, in me, in you, in me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Say it with me, justified. Amen justified now here is the twist holy spirit wants to expose another way of saying justify and what you see on that screen says it all just if i'd just if i just if i'd just if I, it's two different things now. Just if, just if I received Jesus, I wouldn't be in this torment. Just if I plead the blood of Lord Jesus and, 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 and take that thought captive, I wouldn't be going down this season. Just if I just take the time to go to church and fellowship with brothers and sisters, I wouldn't have been trapped with lust or addiction just if I are you hearing me church and so God wants to show these two things side by side and you're gonna see it on the screen hallelujah so you'll be able to see it better gooder amen but you see on the right when you're justified truly you know that everything is paid in full remember you have that receipt amen paid in full but if the question is just if I'd, well, unfortunately, that means that it's not paid in full. And now you regret it because 
You try to continue on, but you didn't get it paid in full. And now the one that wants to collect debts, right? See, that's what the enemy wants to do, collect debts, right? You owe this much. Now here's all these demons that are going to ride you. Say with me in Jesus' name, no more, hallelujah, no more. Because the blood of Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, tetelestai, paid in full, amen? Which means there is no debt, hallelujah. There is no debt, which means you are a beloved child of God, hallelujah. That everything good and perfect that our Father God has is rightfully yours, all because Lord Jesus Christ paid for it, amen. So remember, we go back to that example of one day somebody's going to say, whatever you want, Brother Joey, Sister Trish, whatever you want, you go on and get it. I'll be up here, and I'm going to pay for it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. And the beauty is that's what already Lord Jesus Christ done did for everything good and perfect to be in our lives as beloved children of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we continue on. Being justified is what we know. That through faith in Lord Jesus Christ, I have peace with God. How do you know you have peace with God? Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to God. Isn't that beautiful of how God is just a God of order and how he's so perfect beyond what we can comprehend? That if you say you know Lord Jesus Christ, listen, devils know Lord Jesus Christ. Satan himself knows Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Don't let man people fool you. Amen. God knows everything. You cannot fool God. So God knows if you say you know Lord Jesus Christ, how do you know that Lord Jesus Christ is your faith and that I am saved through faith? His name is Lord Jesus Christ. You have his peace. His name is Holy Spirit. Because only in the name of Lord Jesus Christ will the Father send Holy Spirit to live in you and in me for all of eternity. Amen. You see, if the Father knows that you just know Lord Jesus Christ, but you know him in vain, you know him in religion, I'm going to tell you right now, that's where Lord Jesus says, depart from me, I never knew you. But when you know Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, Holy Spirit, God of peace, lives on the inside for all of eternity, amen? Give God praise, hallelujah, hallelujah. See, we could be justified, which I know who I'm talking to. Come on now. This is the Saturday evening crew. Amen. Hallelujah. And I know who I'm talking to. We are justified by the perfect sacrifice of God our Father, my Lord Jesus Christ, the perfect Lamb of God. He is only one worthy. Amen. And when you know this, I am justified because, Holy Spirit, I have you. I hear from you. Hallelujah. You live through me. How does God live through you? Let me give you... An example through myself, amen? That wherever I go, God's expectation from Joey Karangan is whatever I say or do, you do it. Hallelujah. Isn't it sweet of God, amen? Now let me ask you something. What about those times that the enemy would put a distraction in front of me? Now what do I do? See, many of you beat me to it already. Plead the blood of the Lord Jesus. Call out on the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Bless Lord Jesus. Just say thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father God, that you saw this distraction and you have already gone before me. You've already eliminated it. Amen? Hallelujah. See, this is how God's anointing, say that with me, anointing, that's how his Holy Spirit presence lives abundantly through a beloved child of God. Amen? And of course, I save this for, for the last part of it. If you're not justified. Yes, there is eternal damnation. Yes, there is a hell that people who deny Holy Spirit, who don't want to receive Lord Jesus Christ, unfortunately, this is where they wind up for all of eternity. And the wake-up call is God is showing us what it's like. Right now, April 2020, God is showing us what it's like if he removes his presence.
You see, where God is, everything good and perfect is there. It just gets gooder and gooder. Amen? Where his anointing is, where worship unto the Father, agape, when you worship God, hallelujah, glory to God. I speak it over all of our church family, over all our brothers and sisters, that we are beacons of Holy Spirit light that shines, hallelujah, that all of heaven is like, look, all of heaven, can you see it, church? All of heaven right now is lit up, and it comes from all of us here on earth that lift up the name of Lord Jesus Christ, not in religion, in relationship to the Father. And how do you have this relationship to the Father? That name, that perfect man, agape, is holy. It's not just a name, salvation, Lord Jesus Christ. And when you speak or even think that name, the power of Holy Spirit and the anointing through complete reverence and fear unto God alone, His presence, hallelujah, His light will shine through you. Amen? Say it with me, I am, hallelujah, justified. Glory to God. And this is the beauty as far as the differences between being justified or Let's just call it what it is. Being lazy, idle, having too much fun in this world, right? I shared not too long ago with Pastor John and a few of our elders too, I, I shared with them that God showed me, God showed me that after the trumpet goes off and we are raptured out of here, God says, we, hallelujah, his holy church, his, his beloved children, we're going to be in God's glory. In God's glory, in perfection, where we won't have any, any remembrance of any of this. But God said to say this so that it's recorded for all of eternity so that everyone knows who has ears to hear. That when the church is raptured out of here. When that trumpet goes off and we are eyeball to eyeball with Lord Jesus and in his glory in worship just overflowing with tears and just cannot even comprehend or understand the glory of God. God says there will be hell on earth. That just like this picture you see, unfortunately this soul is in hell. But God said there's going to be people who said just if I'd got, re got, re got real with God, got got saved, just if I'd give my life over to, and it's these people that are going to take their own lives because of the magnitude, listen beloved church family, because of the magnitude of chaos all around the world. And this is a wake up call right now in this season that is dead and gone. God protected us, hallelujah, through this whole season. Why? Because you bless him. You're his beloved child. You're covered by his blood. Hallelujah. Rejoice. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. And you're anointed of God. You have Holy Spirit in you. You've made the choice. I'm justified. There is no longer justified. Do this. Just it's I'm justified. Jesus Christ, you are my Lord and my Savior. I am your servant. I will serve you. Amen. And hallelujah. It's in this breakthrough, in this anointing that God says, my beloved child. I have sealed you for all of eternity. My presence will overflow in you over your entire family. Hallelujah. Over your children, generations to come, my anointing will flood you. All because you are justified through the Holy One. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Praise God. I pray that this message blessed you. Hallelujah. I cannot wait to get back. Amen. I am so thankful for you. Glory to God. Now remember, praise God. We never want to rob God from any of his worship, of any of his blessings. All the glory is God's. Amen. And I know many of you already know what I'm about to say, but praise God. Pray. Pray. Listen, pray. Ask God about blessing him with an offering. Amen. Blessing him with your best. You can't outgive God. Hallelujah. I mean, look at how good our Heavenly Father is. Just look at Lord Jesus. Amen. And the anointing of Holy Spirit will flood your heart, and he will tell you. Amen. And I want to pray over the offering. If you want to make an electronic offering, it's safe, secure. It's at oacchurch.com. Amen. 
And on the screen, we're going to put Sister Chrissy Lawson's uh, address on there. It's going to come up on your screen. And praise God. We got her permission. Hallelujah. We did ask. Amen. God give us wisdom. And uh, she said that you can mail it to her house so everything's safe and secure. And they'll get it. They'll get it to the bank. Amen. And glory to God. Above all, it's God knows. God knows your heart. Amen. And let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much that you have justified us, Father, as your beloved children, all through Christ our Lord. That, Lord Jesus Christ, you are the perfect faith. It's your name. It's your salvation. It's your spirit. And Holy Spirit, we bless you and we just say thank you. That we are not orphans, that we are your beloved children, your beloved church. And Father, I just want to say thank you. Heavenly Father, thank you for blessing the seeds that are sown financially from your beloved church, Father. We are your body. And I thank you, Father God, for blessing them with an abundance of seeds to sow because you have gone before us. And Father, bless those, Father God, who can't give. Or Father, bless those who are struggling to, Father. I pray, Father God, right now that your anointing will flood them and that your peace, Father God, will just overflow in their minds. I thank you so much, Father God, that we cannot outgive you because we know and worship who you gave. And Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for all of eternity. And it's in your precious name that we pray. And all God's beloved said, amen. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Oh, hallelujah. Miss you guys so, so much. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can't wait for tomorrow morning. Praise God. If we're not raptured out here in the next half an hour, invite somebody. Amen. Please, um, please share the messages. Praise God. Listen, the time is coming short. Hallelujah. Uh, I'm just so excited as far as what God has. I, I get a lot of messages. Yes, we're going to be coming together soon. It's Now, hear me now. God will let the elders know. And there's an order. And praise God, you know how we bless Holy Spirit. We never want to hurt or overstep, right? Rebuke pride, amen? Rebuke grumbling, complaining. That's all the enemy, amen? The, all it does is hurts your anointing. And we just say, Father, thank you. Amen. Thank you, Father God. But we are so excited. Amen. Love you guys so, so much. Trish and I pray for you guys all the time, every day. It's not just us, of course, Pastor John, Pastor Mary, all our elders, deacons. We're just so blessed. Hallelujah. It's all because Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'll give you a high five. Amen. Hallelujah. I'll give myself a high five. Give an angel a high five. Praise God. Just love you guys so much. God is the only one good, and it keeps on getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good all the time. Love you, church family. Praise God. I'll see you tomorrow morning, okay? Love you guys so, so much. God bless.